and discussed. So we, def we definitely um, talked about the safety gate and the fact that already now you can see when uh, the authorities, the market surveillance authorities, have uh, assessed a, a, a product as dangerous and they realize that it's also counterfeit, it's written there. So you can find it explicitly. Of course, as also the other chairs were saying, uh, not all authorities are experts in everything. So when they're not sure, either they don't say it or they just say suspect counterfeit. But there we have a start of the reflection. The second point, of course, yes, we discussed about how to nuance the communication messages depending on the nature of the product. Because the same message will not convince consumers in the same way for different kinds of products, as I was explaining before. And definitely we want to work more together with the CCNet, together with the industry. We had the representative from Mattel explaining also how uh, certain things can be more easily uh, conveyed for toys. For uh, the, the latter point, we will need to discuss more because for the moment uh, there is uh, not a connection in the safety aid and in the legislation on product safety directly on counterfeit. We cannot take as a basis the fact that it's counterfeit. It must be dangerous. That's why we were talking about gathering evidence on the intersection between the two.